Just a few months ago, most people, unless you actually read through the replies to any tweet from Donald Trump, most people never heard of Jacob Wall. Well, then Jacob Wall came out and said, aha, I found a woman who says that Robert Mueller sexually assaulted her and I am going to bring this forward and I'm going to discredit Mueller and I'm going to put an end to this uh, investigation and I'm going to be the savior of the Trump administration. So Jacob Wall uh, holds a press conference where this woman was going to come out and tell her story and blow the lid off the whole thing. And unfortunately for Wall, she never showed. Well, this week she finally spoke out and told us exactly what happened. And exactly what happened is that Jacob Wall fabricated the entire story in an attempt to discredit Robert Mueller. The woman's name is Caroline Cass. And here's her story. Cass revealed that Wall first approached her by pretending to be a man named Matthew Cohen, who was purportedly a private detective who had received training from Israeli intelligence agencies. The kid is like 21 and he weighs probably about 90 pounds. So I, I, I don't think anybody would have believed he was trained by special forces. Anyway, um, <laughs> initially he said he wanted to help Cass deal with some individuals whom she claimed stole money from her. It eventually became clear that he wanted her, uh, her to go on the record and make a false rape accusation against the special counsel. They made it up, Cass said of a sworn statement about a sexual assault by Mueller that she purportedly signed and that was given to reporters at Wall's infamous press conference. They wrote it and docu-signed it. So she didn't even sign off on the letter. Wall met her, according to her, wanted her to do this. She was uneasy about it, but Wall said, screw it, I'm gonna do this anyway. Falsify the documents, fake your signature, hold a phony press conference. Won't you please show up and tell us that this actually happened even though we all know it didn't? She then said she had to, quote, escape from Wall to avoid going to this actual press conference. Because we saw the picture in the airport, right? This dude was, was ready, he had her there, and she had to escape from this creepy little Trump troll so she didn't have to go to the press conference. But here we have it, folks. The woman who was at the center of this alleged bombshell story tells us the whole thing was faked and that she never even signed off on it. Jacob Wall should be in prison. Jacob Wall needs to be arrested immediately. Maybe he and Matt Gates can share a cell, who knows? But this kid is a danger, he is a threat, and he is engaging in illegal activity in an attempt to discredit the special prosecutor. What's more, and this is probably the most disgusting part of the story, is that Caroline Cass says that she hasn't even been contacted by the FBI to tell her story. And the FBI was given this information by the special prosecutor's office several months ago. And the FBI is just sitting on it and doing nothing. That's pathetic. And that is a disgrace. Jacob Wall needs to be locked up. Jacob Wall is a liar. He is a con man. And he is attempting to discredit an investigation that could blow open the entire Trump administration. And Wall desperately wants to be a part of that Trump administration. But it ain't gonna happen, buddy. You're gonna end up in jail. And hopefully while you're there, you're gonna tone it down a bit. You're gonna learn to maybe be a better person and actually get rehabilitated. Because if you don't, I can promise you, your life is going to be pure misery from this point forward. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week, just click on the little join button right below the video.